Hello, welcome to the Giant Snail Races, uh, favorite meats edition. And uh, next to me is Safra. Say hi, Safra. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. And then there's Tindy next to her, and that, Tindy's our pro snail. Hello, everybody. And then, of course, there's Salem Sella in her, in her meat suit. Say hi, Salem. Thanks to Lady Gaga, we now have meat suits in Second Life. Wonderful. Why don't you tell us who's out there today, Salem? Wait, wait, racer. So, in the purple scarf, we got Gareth Albert Ross. Red scarf. <laughs> it is Bald Dick Helen. The blue scarf, we will find Bob Gaffer. In the green scarf, it is the Kumi Kerr. Saffron Knightley is with the light blue scarf. Oh, and no. Gabrielle is wearing yellow. And, uh, of course, we have uh, Alden Cortez in the pink scarf. Those are snails. It is not time to get to see any button. Thank you, Charlie Brown's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Charles Schultz. Uh, and for some reason, I can't see Tindy, or I can't see Saffra's eyes, but oh well. It's, we're going to have to live with that. Okay, so, uh, why don't you go ahead and hit the button there, Tindy. Hit the button. Look at those snails bouncing around. Simmer oh, it's down. hot out there. Simmer it's down, hot. you snails. Oh, yeah, they, they are on the grill, that's right. We're grilling the snails today. Mm -hmm. That's what snails do when you put them on the hot grill, I guess. Hot stuff, hot stuff. Let's hope we got... There's our crowd. Thanks for coming. Three, meow, meow, two, one, meow! <laughs> with meatballs. Let's say with meatballs. That's enough we have there. We the wall with meatballs. Since we cannot understand you at all at the moment. Not a word you're saying, no. You're just wah 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 wah. <laughs> so basically, we're just trying to translate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming that was meatballs or something. Oh, everybody got a bounce, but. Uh, Gareth got a late start. Gareth got a late start on it. Oh, somebody's falling through. Who's that? Mikel's falling through. Ball ball ball. Moto. Oh, Moto. Oh, wow. Three people. No. Giving Gareth a chance to catch up. Remember, the last snail in this race is not going on to the final. Oh, where, is Kumi in this one? Kumi should be in this one. Yeah, Kumi's in this one. Okay, in good. Green. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, Kumi's actually in second place right now. That's Alden's in first. She she often gets does very well in the first lap. And Safra's in third, but she gets. Uh oh, bad so hops! She's gonna have to it, climb up the might, shrooms. She might make it the three. No, no, no! Oh. She just bounced back for some hysterical. Oh, oh, that was awful. Here she comes down again. Here she comes Did down she land again. on the ramp? Mm, no. Yeah, I. I she no. she, she's gonna try it. She, uh, it's a no. mess there. It's a mess. <laughs> Come on, Safra. Somebody's in something, and we don't know who. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. This looks like a uh, tie between we Alden and... We got Kumi in the maze, and Alden, Alden and Kumi are in the maze. <laughs> just switched on Kumi, giving uh -oh, Alden uh -oh. just to get ahead a little. Come on, Kumi. Find your way out of there. But Kumi's still in second place at the moment. And Kumi's out of the maze. Yay, Kumi. So Alden's heading up the ramp in first place. Kumi's following in second, but she's going to go for the spring. Uh, it's not going to help on. her too much if it works. Oh, it, does. It, it worked for her, but I don't think it actually gave her any distance. Oh, she's still ahead of Moto. Yep. So Alden starting her second lap. Moto and Gareth fighting it out for third. Followed by Kumi in second. And I think Moto's got a slight edge on Gareth. Yeah. And it does. So the race is Kumi, Moto, and Gareth for second place right now. Mm. All in the gates, All still, still in first place. She's got a bit of a lead. Charlie Brown's mom, you want to say anything? 
pick an answer. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie Brown's mom. <laughs> oh, 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 race. Well, well, we'll, we'll see you on Thanksgiving yeah. on TV. <laughs> uh, we're going to get Sam a new mic pretty soon. So, someone buy her a good internet connection, too. That'd be good. I was say three. Moto Space Planet at three, but gotten it. Ooh. Moto did no, get three. No, Moto has gotten it. Oh, Moto missed three? Oh, no. That is too bad. At least my head says you missed you, three. Uh-oh. You better go back. What's the scoreboard say? Um. Well, we'll never know. Moto, Moto, Moto get three. Uh, Moto needs three on the scoreboard too. Moto, yeah, Moto needs three. Moto, you're gonna be out if you don't hurry up and go back and get three. I don't think he knows. Uh, Unfortunately, Moto is now down a lap. Uh, yes, he's gonna go all the way around. Yeah, yeah, it's setting up the ramp. So it looks Alden's like gonna go for the spring. Unless something happens, yeah, Moto is probably gonna be the one out. That's the luck of the draw. Yep. Kumi hits the spring again. So Gareth is actually taking first place, followed by Olden in second. And a whole mess of snails at the start gate, so I have no idea who's in third. <laughs> it's like Bally's uh, got the edge right now. There's our meatballs in the tank, full of gravy. Gravy. Gareth is taking Oh, yeah, he sort of, sort of came the, back. In third, but unfortunately, Moto is still last. Yeah, Moto's got trouble. I always feel bad when that happens. Yes, I do too. So the actual person in third right now is Will DeCapano. Unless somebody else misses three. Unless somebody <laughs> else misses three on this lap. So you got Gareth and Holden hitting three. Alden flies through and takes over first place again from Gareth, who's now in second. Moto finally gets number three. Finishes a lap before this one. <laughs> it looks like Kumi missed third, so Kumi's out of the oh. running there. Oh, if Kumi missed third, then maybe oh, he's... It could be, yeah, it could be Kumi out Keep on now. going, Moto, at the end. Keep on yep. going, Moto. Unless Kumi goes back. Yeah, three. Kumi went back. He's on top now. Kumi so go still back, uh, Looks yeah. like Gareth got a shout out in the maze. Alden's in first. Uh, Boldy's been able to get out, and he's in second. Gareth's in third. Is Kumi green? Uh, yes. Kumi is green. Oh, oh she's in mystery. She just didn't get to three. And looks like Alden's coming down with the win there. Alden takes first place. Baldy takes second place. Gareth takes third place. Sapphire goes with the spring. Does not work for her. But she's so far ahead of at Moto at this point. She can come in sixth and still be okay. So Mikkel takes fourth place. Moto, you still have another lap. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not going to help you. Zapper takes fifth, Kumi That's takes fifth, and Moto's in seventh. Sorry, Moto. So, unfortunately, Moto is out. And he's you got to watch that. Especially on three. Three is the genius. Alden came in first. So, Alden came in first. Uh, Baldi came in second. That was a great job, Alden. Uh, Gareth came in third. Uh, Mike Oriano came in fourth. Safranani came in fifth. Dewey Carrick came in sixth. And uh, Moto still needs another lap. Came in seventh. And now we'll break, take a break for the first question. And then uh, we'll be right back with uh, some stuff from... Uh, tell you about the leaderboard. On your computer and open up your mind as Pookie Amsterdam and Hydra Shaft will broadcast from inside the studio dome located on the futuristic lands in Second Life. Yes, it is the first question. A fast-paced science-themed show 
with the best and brightest as contestant to answer these deep questions of the world, the universe, and all that is in between. And here's our great snail shop. If you want to buy something, we have three of our four shops open for business. Is uh, Bad Kitty, Bad Kitty, Bad and Kitty. that's a uh, that's that's uh, Salem actually gets profit from that one. If you if you go buy anything for Bad Kitty, if you're going to buy something from Bad Kitty, come and buy it here at the track. Thank you very much. And then we also have one of Safford's friends here is taking on the second shop, and that is Yukimo Dasen, and she has like some great jewelry. You should check out. And we don't. And then uh, over here. Moon Moore, and she's got she's got this only this one thing in her shop, and it's a great little uh, friend thing that you can have that uh, like a pet that'll follow you around and look at you, and you, it's it's really low low end scripting, so it'll, uh, it's it's low lag. So come get your stuff here at the way at the, at the store, and there's also one store still for rent, ready to rent out, and uh, anyway, that's enough of that. Go. Okay, well, we finished season six, and here's the final results. Tendaya Soothsayer came in first for the season. Yay! And Baldy McMillan came in second for the season. Yay! <laughs> Safra Knightley came in third. Yes! Great job, Safra. So, so, those are the people that get the big trophies. Gizmo Resident came in fourth. Gareth Aid Albatross came in fifth. And uh, like we were sleeping, it came in sixth. Where's the, what? Can you see this one? Alden Cortez got seventh. <laughs> it's not appearing on my screen. And then uh, Moto Gaffer got eighth. Nadi Vimo got ninth. And she only came in race one time. Bloodsong got tenth. Uh, Kumi got eleventh. Santi got twelfth, and he only raced once too. Mike Goliano got 13th, and the Spoof Boy Rocks got 14th, and that was our. Uh, that's our. That's the end of the season. That's the end of the season for season six. We're starting season uh, seven in a minute, and it's only got three races in it, so it'll. It's going to be a short one. Then we're going to. We're going to end up with the uh, on our birthday, the eighth birthday of or the seventh birthday of snow racing. Okay, so why don't I throw throw it up to you in the booth, Salem, and tell us about best in show. Right away, racer, and so we had three competitors for our Best in Show Award. And so coming in third is Kumi Kerr and her wonderful little meat-colored shell. Looks nice and tasty, and pour, pour some salt on that. Next, we have Moto Gaffer in his frying pan and the nice sizzling oinky. Sound effects coming with them. <laughs> you can really see the bacon really sizzling. You can hear and that our pork winner. too. <laughs> oh yes, hear that pork. And so our winner for today's best in show award is Zendaya Susser in her uh, grill and hamburger bun shell. She also comes with condiments. How nice. Mm. So those are our best in show. It is now uh, on to our uh, Anton uh, Snell did and his stunt of the day. Hey there, Snell dude. Are you ready to do the, your your trick where we launch you off into the, into the uh, put you in the cannon and shoot you to the other side of the sim? <laughs> You're not. You're not ready. Did you lose something? Is there is there something on the ground there? You you <laughs> you're looking for your cell phone? What happened there? Just get in the cannon. Just get in the cannon. Just get in the cannon. Come on. There he goes. He's in the cannon. Prepare to be astonished. He's in the air. It looks good. <laughs> it looks good. It always looks good here. Here he comes down. And, oh, no, right on the fork. <laughs> oh, oh, that's too bad. Ow. Ouch. Oh, we're going to have some escargot later on today. <laughs> on the barbecue. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what a great crowd we have today. <laughs> okay, 
right, so then I guess we're uh, on to whatever's next. Um, probably probably intro some snails out there that are out there in the lineup sale. Right away, Racer Rin. So we're going to start with our purple scarf of Alden Cortez. The red scarf we will find on the neck of Garrett Albatross. Gizmo is wearing the blue scarf. In the uh, green scarf, we will find Kumi Kerr, finally. And the light blue scarf, it is Safra Knightley. Baldy McMillan, oh, the poor sleepy thing, is sporting the yellow scarf. The orange scarf, it is Tendaya Soothsayer. And last but not least, it's Raquel Guerrero uh, uh, in the pink <laughs> scarf. <laughs> oh yeah, no. How about that? Oh, yeah. Poor guy. Now, now we're we're sure Baldy is we're sleeping and not being charred, broiled yeah. right there on the grill, right? Yeah. Well, what he's... do you think? I was bouncing. It's hot out here. It looks delicious. Okay, let's go to someone in the buttons. But I did yeah, give people. Trying to get to Salem meat dress in the button. I did try to give all the snails a nice, cool piece of meat to stand on. Mm. A little cooler than a hot grill. We had a, a little bit of trouble earlier when uh, Kumi spilled something on their on her PC and almost got out of the race. And we almost let Mike back in. And thanks, everyone. <laughs> and then we threw Mike back out. Yeah. Yeah. Moto. Yeah, Moto. 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 Right. One. Yeah. Right, we're finally going. And we have blasted the wall with my baloney with the first name, and it is go, go, snail! On Devon Dreams for our final race of the day. Your baloney has a first name? What's it called? Yes. Baloney? That's the first name. Sam. I call my baloney Sam. I call my baloney <laughs> Sam. Somebody just cut a corner. How'd they do? Did they get ahead? Yeah. Ooh, Bali and uh, somebody don't get any lift. Looks like, uh, looks like, looks like, looks like Gizmo oh, back somebody there. Somebody popped way high. <laughs> and it's still up in the air somewhere. That would Just be Kumi. Come down. Kumi. Come down. And she Thanks fell right through the road. Oh, no. No, no. Walk through the building, Kumi. And Zephyr gets bounced <laughs> back. The buildings are phantom. She's going around the buildings. She's going to hit a wall in a sec. Ugh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, she's hit the wall. Now she's <laughs> where's Kumi gonna go now? Walk through the phone call. The Phantom Buildings, the Phantom Buildings. Yeah, Kumi. it's my phone and I don't have time to answer. Yeah, you're gonna miss that call. Oh, uh, voicemail. <laughs> that right of the Valkyrie. I have very limited ringtones on my phone. Oh, and Gareth's still trying to get three. And I see Sayer and uh, Michael. Uh, uh, and, um, yeah, Mikkel is, uh, neck and neck. No, oh, it is Mikkel. Uh, okay. It's uh, Alden in third, I think, if she can get around there in time. Ooh, Mikkel got Kumi's in still there. trying to find her way around that wall. If <laughs> <laughs> uh, had a talking car, he would be Mikkel Knight. <laughs> we had to make that wall invisible. <laughs> we should really put up a little sign there. Oh, that's oh, that's not that's not Kumi. There's Kumi. Kumi's coming down at three, back there. Glasses. That was a uh, moto. Kumi still needs to climb up and get three. <laughs> Come on, Kumi. Let's go back to the race. Come on, Kumi. Hey, I'm Kumi. Okay. Oh. And, no, oh. it looks like it's a Dari Susair still ahead. Uh, Mikel has lost some ground back there, and yeah. Alden. It's like a tie for third, second almost. Yeah. I hope Michael does, Mikhail does the game. Cindy makes it through the gates before they reset, and so now it's uh, the uh, second place snails who are trying to, going to have to find which is the right gate in order to get through. And they do make it through the gates, and now... Oh, uh, Mikhail gets the hop. Safra and Alden do not. No. Luckily, there's a second spring for them. Mm -hmm, for the second spring. <laughs> and 
So it's a nice cluster of snails heading to the entrance of the moving maze. Tindale sits there is way ahead. Uh, she, she's already past the moving maze by the time... I think uh, I'm about to lap Kumi here. <laughs> okay. Because Kumi's in front of me. <laughs> not by much, not by much. Not by much. And they have that dangerous salt on her back, though. Ah, I laugh in the danger of salt. Yeah, but I'll You can't assault me. <laughs> okay, Kumi's... So, so Tindy's got the, got the win there. Let's see who's in second. <laughs> Instead of watching who's in first and last. <laughs> It was a pretty good fight. Yeah, we for got a first and last. I think I just <laughs> passed Kumi. There you go. <laughs> yes. And he passes Kumi. Oh, and uh. Kumi falls into the tank. <laughs> oh. Uh, the rest of the field is going to lap then. Yeah, everybody gets to lap Kumi then. Mikel falls through to the tank too, though. Kumi had a hazardous spill of liquids on her keyboard. Just, just climb odds, Kumi. Just that climb could out. be affecting the race. That could be it. She might still have water in her keyboard. It might have been soda, therefore it's a sticky situation. Uh, 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 hey, you're not the only one that can do bad puns, thank you very much. <laughs> well, you can see the lid of your of your of your thing going by there in the in the horizon there. Okay, so Ooh, uh -oh. cow. I took a cow to the face. Uh oh, oh, Baldy has to go back for three. Uh oh. And there's uh, Alden Cortez just about to leave the movie maze with Mikhail just entering and trying to find his way around. And Tindalia suits there, takes first place. Yay, Tindy. Yay! Oh, else? <laughs> There's the fireworks. Tindy was orange. Here comes Alden. Alden's getting Alden's punished get out second. there. Yeah, Alden's, Alden's got second though, unless she falls through or something terrible happens. Look at that delicious meat there. Mmm. What kind of meat do you think that is? <laughs> um, snail. Big old slabs of meat. <laughs> hey, Alden. Now, who's gonna be third? Third is gonna be blue, and blue is Gizmo, I think. Gizmo. Yep, that is Gizmo. Okay, Gizmo. Gizmo will take third. It's gonna be close here on fourth. Gareth uh, takes fourth. Gareth got fourth, uh, Michael got fifth, Aldi got sixth, Cypher's getting seventh. Get ready, snails. We're gonna do this thing where you get on the uh, boxes here in a minute. <laughs> it's good. And yeah, then, Baldi's uh, going for another lap there. Yeah. Okay. It's his victory lap. <laughs> oh, Baldi didn't finish. He's, he's gonna go. Oh, Baldi no. missed a checkpoint. Oh, Baldi's. Oh no. It's between Baldi and Michael's still going for some reason too. <laughs> Something yeah, tell Michael. Michael missed one too. I thought he might have missed three a while back there, but uh, Mike, Michael well, missed a lap too. Well, Kumi might not be last then. Uh, where is Kumi? I'm not sure. Yeah, you're looking for sixth place right now. Yep, next person coming will be sixth place. <laughs> Kumi, where are you? You had a chance. Don't give up, Kumi. Don't give up. So right now you got a race between Baldi and Mikel for sixth place as they're going into but the But it maze. still looks like Kumi's trying to get to second checkpoint, so I don't okay. know what happened. I hope she comes back. We need to film her still. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This extra lap. Well, so right now it's a fight for sixth place. And it's close. Oh, oh! Oh! Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Mikhail got shut out in the maze. So Goldie heading up the top. I don't know if he would have been hit it, by stuff occasionally. He, he could have tried for the jump, but it might not have been enough anyway. And Baldi, Baldi gets, gets six. And Michael gets seven. And, and 
We still don't know what happened to Kumi. And we don't know what happened to Kumi. Recap! Recap! So, and first, we have uh, Tendaya Soothsayer. In second place, it is Alden Cortez. Hey, Alden. Third place is Gizmo. Great job, in Gizmo. In fourth place is Gareth Aid Albatross. In fifth place, we find Safra Knightley. Safra. <laughs> Sixth place is Baldy McMillan. Seventh place is Mikel Orlando. And in eighth place, uh, wondering what happened to Kumi. So that's our final race of the day. It is now time for. Uh, is that time? Yeah. Yep. Snail racing. When racer. Uh, snails get on those boxes. And oh, where Racer gets up in the balloon. There he is. And snails, get on the cubes. Get on the cubes, snails. Do something to, to, to Tindy, too. She's got her hands weird. <laughs> Thank you. Not to me, but okay. Uh, are any of the snails on their boxes yet? There's a couple on their boxes. Uh, okay, let's just go. I don't know what's going on with those people. There's three people on This the is the time on Snail Racing when we dance. Yeah. And what is our theme for next week? Um, Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving, Turkey Day. Turkey. Bring your turkeys with you tomorrow or next week. That'll be a lot of fun. True, not everybody celebrates Thanksgiving, but for us, it's Thanksgiving. Yay. Yay. Thanksgiving. Celebrating mass extinction of the Indians. Yay! <laughs> now don't forget to refrigerate your own, your uh, leftover meat. Bring your I'm blankets. Gonna, I'm gonna need a big fridge for this. Okay, we're gonna say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Safra, you want to say good night, Safra? I need it's not. <laughs> no, no, Safra. Okay. All right. We'll see y'all next week. Bye, bye.